Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Devin. I'm an esthetician and content creator and I'm so excited to talk about my favorite body care and fragrance products of 2022. Let's jump right into the video. First up, I want to talk about body washes and I have everything from like drugstore all the way up through some higher end stuff. I would say that I'm not someone who spends a lot of money on body care. I like to save a little bit along with my hair care so I can spend more on skincare and makeup. That's just my personal preference, but that definitely is something that is worth noting when you're taking you know, my favorites into consideration. So I feel like I have to talk first about Frenchie, which is Ashley Tisdale's brand. And this is a line that sold at Target. And really funny story about this specific scent. I was actually at my best friend from college, her wedding this past summer, and her mom had thrown like a little basket in the bathroom together. And she threw in like a body spray that had this scent. It's cashmere vanilla. And I was like, this smells incredible. This is really, really good. And she's like, oh, I just, you know, I saw this at Target and I threw it in the car and it was really inexpensive. So of course I go to Target and I see this new display that has this brand and I sort of looked into it and they have a whole array of products in, I think four or five different scents. This is my favorite. This is cashmere vanilla and it has vanilla, toasted jasmine rice, sandalwood, and amber. And this to me smells like a cozy sandalwood vanilla amber. I don't get a ton of jasmine, maybe like a hint of it, but it's like a really cozy warm scent. My husband loves the scent of this one on him and me. It's really beautiful and this is very very affordable. I'm going to look up the price but I am just really really impressed by how expensive this smells for the price and I'm all about those expensive smelling scents but you know, at a drugstore target price point. So I highly recommend checking this one out. And I just grabbed her candles, so I'm really curious to see how it is. They have like a body serum, a body lotion, a hand serum, hand lotion, a bunch of different stuff in this scent, but the body wash is spectacular. I feel like I've talked about Saltera in every single one of my videos, and I have to mention them when it comes to body products because I originally fell in love with this Santal Bloom body wash. They sent this to me or they sent me it originally when it launched, but I've since repurchased several times. And I have the mini collection of all the other scents I haven't smelled. I just smelled Seascape at the store, which was the only scent I hadn't smelled yet. And it's beautiful, like clean, fresh, laundry-ish type of scent. Definitely gonna pick that one up. Their stuff is just so good. And I love this one because first off, the price is incredible. You get 17 ounces for $12. But this one has the creamy sandalwood scent, which again, a lot of my fragrances are woody with some floral. And so I feel like sandalwood, vanilla, amber, those kind of things all kind of blend really well with my fragrance. And if you're someone who wants to go like all fragrance free because you like your perfume or fragrance to shine, I totally get that. I just like to wear something that's going to be complimentary. And so that's sort of what I look for. But this is creamy sandalwood with jasmine petals and delicate rose, but this to me it just smells like creamy sandalwood. I don't get a ton of jasmine or rose, but I freaking love jasmine and a lot of my fragrances have jasmine in it. But highly recommend, I feel like there's a scent really for everyone and they have these minis. Again, I have the full size of my shower and I have, you know, a whole row of minis on my shelf. You can try out a different scent, find one that makes sense for you. And the nice thing is you can smell them at Target if you have one nearby. So I love this body wash. It is one where I feel like the Frenchie, that lathers into like a big lather. This doesn't lather as much. And lathering, and you know the like bubbles that you get, that doesn't necessarily mean it's, you know, cleansing your skin more because a lot of products now just have more gentle surfactants that are still cleansing but not stripping. I don't find the Frenchie stripping. It feels like a thick serum kind of gel texture. And I would say this kind of feels the same but it doesn't lather quite as much, but that doesn't bother me, but just know that the Frenchie is going to lather much more. This doesn't quite lather as much, but it doesn't bother me, and I think that it's, you know, like, pretty nourishing. I never feel like my skin is stripped, and again, when I like to reach for a fragrance body wash, 
I don't care that it maybe isn't the most hydrating product in the world. I just don't want it to strip my skin. That's the most important thing because I can hydrate with other things when I get out of the shower. Next up, I have to talk about my Natarium favorites and I have two. There's actually a third one that I don't own right now that I, I do really love the Sensitive Skin body wash of theirs. But I do say if I had to choose between that and the Glow Getter, which is their oil body wash, I would pick the oil one because I was a really big fan of the Bioderma oil body wash because, again, it's just a super nourishing body wash to have in your shower, very affordable, and, you know, it never left my skin feeling stripped. If anything, it added nourishment to it. That's how I feel about this one. I get really itchy legs in the winter, and this adds that extra nourishment, so I can kind of, like, use... A fragrance one on the upper half of my body and then in the winter I tend to use this mostly on my legs because that's where my skin gets really itchy so I really really love this and I think it's a good fragrance for your alternative to the Bioderma oil body wash and this has linoleic rich oils squalane and glycerin so again gonna be really hydrating and nourishing for your skin really impressed with this again Natrium's price point is incredible Salters is incredible and Natrium is at Target as well now. I'm just going to confirm the price here on this body wash. 16.9 ounces for $16, which I again think is incredible. I love products that are under $20 when it comes to body and I like having different options in my shower depending on what my skin needs that day so i just love that if this was more expensive i probably wouldn't you know want to have a bunch of different bottles in my shower but i feel like i can because i've got some affordable options that i love and when it comes to an exfoliating body wash i love the perfector salicylic acid body wash this is a brand new bottle that they just sent to me and you'll probably see my recent empties that I had just emptied one and this is a staple in our shower. I mostly like to use this in the summer but my husband rides and he's prone to getting acne on his back so he likes to use this all year round and especially on his back. You can use this on your face even and you really can apply it and wear it like a little mini mask in the shower and then rinse it off. It's just a really really nice exfoliating product this has salicylic acid in it salicylic acid is a bha or a beta hydroxy acid it's oil soluble and it can go kind of deep within the pore to kind of dissolve any oil or blockages and that's how it helps to keep your skin clear so this is fantastic especially if you're using it in combination with the benzoyl peroxide wash which is also fantastic that is a face cleanser but you can use it on your body my husband uses the two and it keeps them you know really really clear and i'm excited to use the new salicylic spray that natrium just launched with this so yeah very very good especially if you are acne prone or just like doing a lot of sweating in the summer like we all do right I have some luxury favorite body washes that I have to talk about. These are definitely on the higher end and a splurge for me. So one I was sent in PR and then I bought the other one. So I did get Somebody Wood by Fleur in PR and then I purchased Missing Person. This to me, Missing Person, and I actually picked both of these fragrances as favorites so I'll talk about the actual scents a little bit later. But I find this body wash to be potent in terms of scent. Again, it's not stripping. My skin feels nice after I use it, but it's not particularly like nourishing or hydrating, but it has a nice lather. So it does really get kind of like bubbly if you like that. And the thing that I really like about these is A, the pump packaging is incredible. It's like a thick gel texture, but the scent just fills my bathroom. It even pours into my master bedroom. So like when I'm showering at night and I use this, it just makes my whole space smell and feel incredible. My husband could not get over these. He is obsessed. He didn't even know how much they were or anything. He knows I'm on the more cheap side when it comes to body washes, so I think he just assumed these were affordable. He was blowing through these and he was like, these smell amazing they're the best scents i've ever smelled and he won't he tells all of our friends about them too like they'll come over and they're like oh you guys have to smell this body wash and he doesn't you know like pick through a lot of my other stuff that i have on my bureau or in my office but he he'll use whatever's in the shower so that's why it's really funny to hear his like true thoughts on stuff but 
he is obsessed with somebody wood this is the one that i currently have in my shower because this is more of a winter fragrance missing person is definitely an all year around kind of fragrance but this is one i tend to reach for more in like spring summer fall it's a good transition fragrance when you don't really know what to wear when it's like not really winter or not in the middle of summer and you just are like what do i wear this is exactly what that fragrance is for perfect for every day he will not shut up about these and i think he doesn't even care about the price anymore he's like we can't live without them so i feel like i've gotten the uh, okay to keep buying them so the next product is a shower KP Body Scrub Mask from Natarium. They are just killing it with the body launches. And I used to have other KP scrubs that were a lot more expensive that I had to buy at Sephora. And I just, again, love that I have an under $20 option. This is $18. It has 8% glycolic acid. It has salicylic acid as 2% PHA and it has jojoba esters and this has a really really fine grit to it It's not harsh. I don't find it like burns, you know, or hurts my skin when I use it on the backs of my arms but It's really great anywhere on the body not necessarily just for KP Just a great exfoliating product that you can use anywhere you're prone to breakouts again I feel like all of these products are really gentle so you could use this also with the salicylic acid body wash if you're really breakout prone but this is fantastic and again I love like the neutral packaging with the flip cap just so good and I cannot wait to see what else Natrium launches body wise I know like this week they launched their retinol body lotion which I'll definitely be trying this next product is one that we keep in our shower but it's not necessarily a body product but can totally be used on the body and I didn't make it into my skincare favorites mostly because it's something I use infrequently but I I use it infrequently on my face, but I use it a lot on my body and my husband uses it religiously on his body. It's the Benzoyl Peroxide Cream Cleanser 5% by Natarium. Again, I had recently just talked about this, but it is just so good. It is so nourishing though. It's really, really impressive to me because I've been burned by Benzoyl Peroxide literally and figuratively many times in my life this is so gentle i can use this on my face just kind of like where i am prone to breakouts like right before my period and i just feel like it kind of kills anything potentially coming up again my husband uses this on his back or where he gets breakouts mostly like where his um cycling shorts kind of rub on his legs and he yells at me when i take this out of the shower to shoot because he's like where is it where is it and there's almost nothing left like we're down to the last bit and again this was sent to me in PR but this is an immediate repurchase always keep in my shower type of product can't live without it if you're breakout prone you have to check it out when it comes to moisturizing my body post shower I've always been kind of a body oil junkie I love body oils and just the way that they feel on my skin I like that I can apply them at the very end of my shower I turn off my shower I apply it on wet skin and then I just pat dry and my skin stays really nourished but it's not heavy you know the oil doesn't get on my clothes highly recommend trying it out you should really be applying any body lotion butters oils on wet skin to really seal in that water but I just have to again talk about the salt air body oil and I've actually have a couple other body oils that I'm trying to work through so I took it out of my shower to give it a break because I'm kind of like hoarding it it's a bad habit I have with things that I really love I also just think the packaging of this is incredible because it has this like frosted glass and I am always nervous about glass in my shower but first off it has a pump so I don't have to deal with a drop or anything and then it has this really grippy cap so you can see it's kind of ridged see it has like these ridges to it but when you hold it too it's tight so it doesn't just like drop out of your hand into the shower it's pretty incredible again love the pump it's also a mid-weight oil so I would say it's not heavy but it's not a dry oil either it's perfect I feel like they absolutely nailed it this scent is incredible but I would love to see them come out with other scents this one I especially love because this scent pink beach it's coconut almond blossom and vanilla and it matches the curly hair care which is my favorite and that's what I use so I like that they all kind of match and again it, it's mostly like that vanilla kind of base which again is an lot of my fragrances so it layers really well but I'd love to also see it in the Santal Bloom. Price wise this is four ounces for $20 which I think is a great price for a body oil. 
you really don't need a lot. I mean, I've been using this for two months and that's all I use. So I do think that this lasts a long time as well. Body lotion. I've never been a huge lotion person, but I do sometimes like to use it and have it on hand, especially in the summer. And I'm going to talk about the one that I use on my son. My husband loves this. I also really love this when my skin is feeling you know, really like it needs some extra oomph even after I apply the body oil. So this is the Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion by Naturium. It's fragrance free, so it's amazing for all skin types. It has omega fatty acids, which really help to seal in moisture and prevent that water loss that's going to keep your skin really hydrated. It has shea butter, which is like a nice kind of occlusive that helps, again, hold that water to the skin. It has B vitamins, so B3 is niacinamide, B5 is panthenol. They're barrier strengthening, they're skin evening, and they're also skin calming. And so we also have sodium PCA. Again, that's another hydrating ingredient. So this is just stacked, but the best thing about it it has a thick texture when it comes out at first, so even though it's a lotion, I would say it's like a little bit on the thicker side, but it just melts into the skin, and then it has like a matte kind of texture where once it's on, it's not sticky or heavy, like you really can't feel it, and so that is the magic with this because I am very picky about the way lotion feels in my body, and I just love how this kind of has that like non-sticky kind of like almost semi-matte finish. I do also really love the Santal Bloom body lotion. They do have a fragrance free and then they have, you know, a matching one for all of the different body washes or at least most of them. But again, I love this one because I love layering it along with when I'm using the body wash because it just kind of like elevates the scent, makes it even stronger. And again, a lot of my fragrances already have sandalwood in it. This is a really lightweight, non-sticky version as well and again Fleur I have a somebody would this was sent to me in PR and I debated getting it when I bought the missing person body wash but I didn't because again I was like I'm not a lotion person but after I felt this this again with the body wash and then you apply the fragrance it's a lot so if you are sensitive to scent just note that the Fleur products are very scented but again that's kind of the point they're a fragrance brand but I really love this because I almost feel like when I'm wearing the body wash and the lotion, I almost don't even need the fragrance or I need very little of it because they all just layer on, on and on and are just going to give some insane longevity to your fragrance. But it's a beautiful, non-sticky, you know, lightweight lotion that I think is a really nice formula if you are kind of like a fragrance junkie. Okay, so when it comes to deodorant, I have a standout. For years, I had used the Necessaire, and I talked about this in my October, November kind of favorites. Um, this is a Salt and Stone Suntal natural deodorant. It's supposed to be hydrating, clear, not stain your clothes, and I can say all of those things are definitely true for me. The scent is the perfect Suntal. It's really soft and creamy. I find often that I think it's the Necessaire one, just smells like more green, and this one's more soft and warm, I would say. So I really, really love the scent of this more than anything. I think you guys can sense the theme here. I love Santal, and I just love it as like a base fragrance. I like that this meshes with a lot of the fragrances that I wear that have Santal or woody bases versus, you know, like something more green like eucalyptus that just doesn't really like flow with kind of what I'm wearing. So again, really, really enjoy this. I don't think this has any of the same chemical exfoliants that the Necessaire has in it, but I've had no issues with stinking or like being super sweaty with this. So I'm really, really impressed with this and I will 100% repurchase this when I run out. Three fragrances to talk about today and I think they're going to be of no surprise to you given the rest of my video but the first that I have to talk about is Dead Cool Milk. This made it into favorites in the fall so you've probably already seen me talk about this especially if you also follow me on Instagram because I talk about it a lot there. This has a base note of amber, middle of white musk, and top of bergamot and this just smells like an elevated person scent is how I would describe it. It truly smells like your significant other or partner's sweatshirt. You know, like the lingering of a person. It's at the base of all of Dead Cool's fragrances and they made it, you know, their own fragrance. But I'm just blown away by this. I get constant compliments on it. I bought the mini 
and then went ahead and purchased the full size. They also made an extra milk version, which is like a more potent, even more long lasting version. I find that the longevity on this is pretty good, especially on your clothes, but it's one you can kind of like douse yourself with, if you will. As long as you're not sensitive to fragrance, obviously, but again, I purchased the mini and I had to get the full size because it's so good. I love just skin-like scents that kind of adjust to who is wearing them, and I think this totally fits the bill. And I got hundreds of DMs on people who were like, I blind bought the mini and immediately got the full size, and then my husband stole it and I had to buy another for myself. So this is such a huge hit and i'm so glad everyone loves it as much as i do it's just so good the next one that i have is missing person and i'm going to go through the notes this is described as a floral musk which is what all of my fragrances are i'm pretty sure so the base is sandalwood australia oil blonde wood white musk the heart is fresh cyclamen neroli blossom i don't know if i said that right orange flower and the top is skin musk bergamot nectar and sheer jasmine all of my favorite notes in a fragrance but yet this smells so different depending on who is wearing it it truly it says that it's supposed to evoke the lingering scent of your lover's skin which again that's exactly what dead cool is to me but this it truly smells like a person like it has a little bit more of i would say like a fresh sort of almost almost laundry scent you know like compared to the dead cool but it truly truly takes a life of its own and again my husband loves the smell of this he loves blanche by by Rado, which is one of my other favorites one of my most worn in 2021 and still like probably my favorite by Rado scent so he loves the really like skin like scents they remind him of me and so i just like love that about them too but this is beautiful i purchased myself the travel size immediately got this and then i bought the body wash so so good i just love their stuff and i know that this one this one i think is worth smelling for yourself because some people are underwhelmed by this but i do think with fragrance you really have to wear something to see how it's going to wear on your skin before you make the purchase but i love that they have the sample sets they also have the travel size as well and lastly i have somebody would also by fleur and so i was at dinner with the pr team that manages fleur and atrium um etc and i we were just talking about the scent and i was like i ordered it on sephora and basically it canceled my order because it was already out of stock and i was like i'm never going to be able to smell this and one of the women there was like i have the travel size and she gave it to me after and i could not stop thinking about it could not stop thinking about it. So Fleur actually was really kind and then sent me the uh, the body care set, the body wash and lotion, and then this, and I was going to 100% buy it because this is like the winter scent of my dreams, whereas I feel like those are really like all year round kind of scents, uh, milk and missing person. This is a true like fall winter scent for me. I actually filmed a video of me spraying it and like my thoughts I've already, I'm smelling so many things right now, but this smells woody, but it also is warm and a little sweet and a little floral. It's just so beautifully balanced. It's incredible and I highly recommend smelling it if you like woody scents. It definitely leans heavy on the wood because obviously the name, but I do think you get some like other elements of like vanilla and amber and jasmine and some like other just beautiful things that balance it out. It's really, really beautiful, and yeah, if you end up loving or trying any of these, I would love to know what you think of the scents. Scent is subjective, but I love that we now just have options to like go in store and smell things and try them before we have to buy, so yeah, I can't stop talking about this. All right, so this wraps up my favorite body care and fragrance products of 2022, and this is my last 2022 favorites video but I would love to know what your favorite body care and fragrances were this year or what your like fragrance style is. And thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day.